nurse, 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 stop ignoring me. I've been talking to you all along and you wouldn't respond. Nurse, why is everyone ignoring me? Nurse, I'm talking to you. Excuse me, nurse. Excuse me. What's going on here? And why is everyone ignoring me? Nurse, nurse, I'm talking to you. Listen to me. Why are you ignoring me? Why are you ignoring me? Nurse? Nurse? Why are these nurses ignoring me? What have I done to warrant such treatment from them? Thank goodness. Thank God. That is George over there. George. George, where have you been? George. George. This is George. Oh, doctor. Doctor Harrison. Oh, who's happening? Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. George. Let me talk to you first. Even okay. you. Uh, there's something important. What an effrontery! You are ignoring me after all you did. What? Even you to Dr. Harris. Oh my goodness. What is happening? What have I done to warrant such a treatment from everyone, even George? Well, Mr. Um, George, the situation of your wife, it's very critical and it's a matter of life and death right now. Doctor, yeah. you're blabbing, I'm right here. Yeah. But well, we're gonna still take care of her, though. Doctor, wait. In the rate of 100, 50 50, 60 40, what is the condition of my wife exactly? What, what is happening to my wife and my child? Calm down, Mr. George, calm down. Right now, I'm gonna answer all your questions. I'm gonna take it one at a time. But right now, a surgery is needed urgently. What is happening to my wife? Okay, your wife has vovulus. Vovulus, Nissan, what does that mean? What uh, mean? Well, vovulus is, um, is a twisting of the intestine that can result into intestinal obstruction. And in the case of your wife right now, she's having that situation in a third trimester. We could be deadly to the mother and the fetus. We have to, have, we have to move pretty fast, we have to have a surgery ASAP, right away. Doctor, what is happening to my yeah. wife? Are you sure you guys can take doctor, care of my wife? Doctor, what is the vitals are crashing and Cobbley is about to be dead. What is happening to my wife? Okay, uh, Mr. Judge, this is what I'm going to do. And the nurse is going to come and get all the papers for you. We just need your consent and we're going to start the surgery right away. No, I have to come. No, 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 no. Just wait for, wait for the nurse right here and they will come to be with you. I'll be right back. Did I get here? What am I doing here? It's so dark in here. 
Hello? Hello? Somebody help me? Can anyone hear me at all? Uh, what am I? How did I end up here? How did I get here? I'm a child of God. I do not belong here. <laughs> are you sure you are? <sighs> no! You are not! You belong here! No! I do not belong here. I'm a child of God. We will be together till eternity! <laughs> You belong here! No! Oh, ho, 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 you okay? Right? Honey. 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 Hey, right. Food is Me. ready. Oh, that's right. I'll be there. All right. You let me know when mm, This food smells sumptuous. Babe. Lizzie, is this oh. okay for you or do you want some more? It's okay. All right. I really need to have a little of this before I leave for work. Oh, wow. Sure, honey. You work so hard to put this family together. You deserve the best of the best meal. Oh, my you dear. You let me know when this is okay. Yeah. Oh, man. This food tastes so sumptuous. Tell See, me something. I'm glad I married you. I am eating the best meal in the world this morning. Thank you, my dear. See, a lot of women don't even cook when they are in this your condition. Uh uh. Pregnancy isn't an ailment. But you know I would do anything to keep my mind smiling. Thank you, my dear. That's why I love you. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> Honey, mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's four weeks to Christmas already. How are we going to celebrate this year? Dad, I want Santa to give me a kid sister that is as beautiful as a Barbie doll. Then I will not need to buy a Barbie to play with anymore. Mm. Mm. Really? So your plan is to turn your baby sister into a baby doll, right? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Leave my baby girl alone. Baby, see, him, Lizzie, don't worry. Certainly, I'm very sure that Santa will grant your wish, okay? And we will have a beautiful Christmas celebrated together. Thank you, Daddy. I love you, baby. <clears throat> By the way, baby. Yes, sweetie. You know, you know we might have our baby honor before Christmas. Am I correct? Yes, so true. Actually, my EDD is so close. Mm. Yeah. Mm, I was, mm, anyway. Anyway. You have something to say. Just shoot. Honey. Yes, sweetie. You know my mom is nice. She's caring, compassionate, and she's sophisticated. Well, really? So, whose mom does not have all of the qualities you just mentioned? Uh, no, honey. Honey, what I'm saying is that my mom is coming for Christmas. Yes. I thought we had a conversation about this already. And we both agreed your mom is not coming. That's my final take on that. Your mom is not coming. Honey, you know, my mom is experienced. You know, she knows how to take care of babies and infants. You know? I think she's going to be a better fit for this position. My mom is experienced too. Mom, you're yelling! Lizzie, I can see you're done eating, okay? You can go to your room now. 
judge. I've been taking this with levity. And you don't seem to understand. Your mom is not coming. And dad is final. Listen, Emily. I am the head of this house. And my opinion stands. Really? Can the head stand without the neck? Why are you so rude, Emily? Why are you so disrespectful? Why are you so selfish? Why your mom? Why not mine? Oh. See who is talking. Like you are not guilty of the selfishness too. Stop playing the victim here. My mom is scary. My mom is neat. My mom is this. Your mom that is so uncultured and dirty. Oh. <laughs> what? How dare you talk to my mom like that? What? How dare you? What? George? You hit me? I will do that again. You hit me, George. I am so done with you. Like I care. This marriage is I over. don't care. It's over, George. It's over. <laughs> Rebecca. Fabulous. Rose. Emily. You can't imagine. George laid his beauty hands on me. <laughs> hey. Hey. You know, I can't believe what you were telling me not before. Rebecca. Rose. Hear this. I will never forgive George. Not in this world. As soon as I give back to this baby, I am filing for a divorce. Yes, I agree with you. How could he do that? If my husband tries that with me, hey! I trust you. I will kick him out of the house. What an insolence. <laughs> Truly, you don't feel well. Because really, you are advising her wrong. Colossians 3.13. Mark 11, 12, if you want God to forgive you for talking ill of your mother-in-law, you need to forgive your husband for what he did. Also, God, Say that. Have you forgotten I'm a Christian too? Mm. I go to church. Oh. I serve God as mm. much as you do. Mm. That doesn't mean I should take nonsense. Okay. Oh. But anyway, can you at least agree that what she said about her mother-in-law was wrong? Freedom of speech. Mm. Uh-huh. It's a free word. Rose, are you saying George did the right thing? No, he was completely wrong for hitting you under any circumstances. However, you was wrong for speaking ill of his mother. All I'm saying is ask God for the grace to forgive him so the two of you can move forward. Don't lose your marriage over listening to this nonsense. Has he ever done that to you before? Sincerely. Okay, no. well, thank God. So out of the 10 years, it's never happened. Although it happened today, it was wrong, but please, by the grace of God, ask God to help you to forgive him. He forgive you, and then the two of you can move on with your beautiful marriage. Be careful who you listen to. So if you're starting a day, it's acceptable? No, it's not acceptable, and it can be corrected. Just how her mouth can be corrected. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I know she told you, but no, Felix, no. See, I can never forgive her. See, I'll take everything but not an insult to my mother. No, Felix, I can't take it. But listen, George, you also erred. You mean you hit your wife? Come on, that is the height of it all. How could you do that? Well, see, Felix, if you were there, you could do worse. You could do worse, Felix. You need to be there. George, listen, listen to me. Look, I understand how you feel. But divorce is not an option in Christendom. In fact, even the book of Matthew says anyone that divorces his wife, apart from the reasons of immorality. And it even says further in the book of Luke that any man that marries a woman that divorces her husband has also committed adultery. So, bro, it's not an option at all. I'd rather not marry than to marry a woman who disrespects my mother. No, I'd rather not marry, Felix. My brother, just calm down. You know, I understand. You have to forgive your wife and also beg for her forgiveness. You know, to err is human and to forgive is divine. Even Amos 3.3 3 says that how can two work together except they agree? I don't want you to follow the path that you are trying to go. You just need to, you know, relax your mind 
and See, calm down, my brother. Felix, we have to get back to work now, you know, so I, I think my boss is trying to reach but out I'm to sure me. But I'm sure you listen to what I've said unto you. Well, I had you, I'll think about it, Felix. Thank you. Son to set me free. I am liberated from sin. I am free forever. He has sent the Son to set to me set free. me free. I am free. Emily, yes. Do you have anything for me for breakfast? The kitchen is open. Go fix yourself something to eat. My dear, I'm sorry. See, I have realized my mistake. No matter what, I shouldn't have hit you. And it won't happen again, I promise. I've heard you. <sighs> okay, what can I do to make it up to you? I'm fine. I'm not annoyed anymore. Well, anyway, if there's anything you want me to do to make it up to you, just let me know. I sure will. Oh, you will be late for work. Oh, that's right. Um, <clears throat> like I said, um, if there's anything you want me to get for you, I'll uh, get it for you. All right, thank you. All right, call me, okay? Okay, I'll do. <laughs> you have not seen anything. This is just the tip of the iceberg. I will show you Pepe. You. I'm cramping really badly. It's so bad I need you to come back. I am sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> you should have forgiven your heart one earlier. Ah, I did not foresee this happening. That is why you should have always have your mind sanctified. Because no one knows when rapture or death may come. Oh. But the good news is, oh. it is good for me, oh. but bad for you. <laughs> Lord, forgive me. Forgive me, O oh Lord. There is no forgiveness after death. You are trapped with me 
Doctor, I the surgery. How is my wife? You haven't said anything. What's happening? Where is my wife? Well, Mr. George, the surgery was successful. Everything went well, and okay. your wife is okay. Uh, she's recovering in the ICU, and her recovery is going to take a little longer. But we'll continue to monitor her state. Re recovery? What? Why? I mean, is my wife alive? Can I see my wife now? Well, well, you can see her right now, but your wife is alive. Okay. We are monitoring her, but she's very much alive. She's just in the recovery um, room right now. Can I go see her now? No, you can't see her now. We'll let you know when you need to go see her. But right now, the person I want you to go see is your baby. Yes. <laughs> you need to come see your bouncing baby. Okay. Come on. Let me take you. children. I still have a lot to do. I cannot die. Lord, have mercy on me. <laughs> Listen, woman. We are in this till eternity. No. Hebrews 9.27 says, it is appointed for man once to die. <laughs> and after this, it is judgment. <laughs> <sighs> The book of John 8.36 says that <clears throat> if the Son sets you free, you shall be free indeed. The Lord also said in his word, he said he will show mercy <clears throat> on whom he will show mercy. Lord, show me your mercy. No. Show me your mercy. No. No. Send me light, no. oh God. No. Help me, oh no. God. Send me light. No. Send me no. your light, oh God. No. Let your light shine on me again, oh Lord. No. Show me your mercy. Shine your light. Shine your light on me again, O oh Lord. Ah. How are you feeling? Good. Good. Let, me, let, me, let, me, let me check you. Let me see. Take a deep breath. Well, well, everything seems to look normal. You recovered pretty well. I'm really happy for you. I want to congratulate the two of you. Congratulations. Thank you so much, right. Doctor. Thank All you, right, doctor. I'll see you guys. I'm going to leave and uh, <laughs> give you all some space, okay? Right, I'll, see you. I'll see you all in a bit. Hey, baby. Tell me. How are you feeling now? I forgive you. Oh, no. I'm so sorry for costing you so much. No. Baby, see, you're the one in pain. See, I'm glad you're alive. The surgery went well, okay? But there was a little complication. And you were unconscious for a little while. 
But everything is fine now. Oh, she's held and healthy. She's good. She's fine. Love you so much, oh, I love you too, baby. I can't wait for you to get back home, baby. I have a request. A special request that there. Tell me. Anything for you, baby. Tell me. Can we have our mother's over for Christmas? Oh. Okay. Okay. Thank you. No problem. I love you. I love you too. Should I hold 